Once upon a time, there was a young student named Genji, who was determined never to fail in his studies again. He was a curious and diligent student, but often found it challenging to manage his time and balance his various responsibilities. He would often stay up late studying, only to wake up the next day feeling tired and unmotivated. One day, as Genji was walking through the forest, he was captivated by an old temple. Intrigued, he approached the entrance and was welcomed by an old monk who invited him in. Genji explained his difficulties in managing time and studying effectively. The monk smiled and invited him to sit down. My young friend, said the monk, the key to success in your studies does not lie in working harder, but in working smarter. Let me tell you a story to illustrate my point. Once there was a wise master known for his teachings and wisdom. He had many students, but one stood out. This student was diligent, focused, and always managed his time effectively. He never wasted time and was always able to complete his tasks and excel in his studies. One day, the other students asked the wise master how this student could be so successful. The master simply replied, he values time. The other students were puzzled as the monk continued his story. Genji listened attentively, eager to learn the secrets of time management and success from the wise master. Value time. But don't we all have the same amount of time? asked the other students. The wise monk smiled. Indeed, we all have the same amount of time. But how we use that time determines our success or failure. Genji was inspired by the story, but he still doubted how to apply it in his own life. The monk sensed his hesitation and continued, My young friend, time is a precious resource. It is something we cannot get back once it's gone. If you truly want never to fail in your studies again, you must learn to value your time and use it wisely. The monk went on to explain that good study habits were not just about working hard, but also about working efficiently. He encouraged Genji to prioritize his tasks and create a schedule that allowed for work and recreation. He also emphasized the importance of taking breaks and taking care of his mind and body, as well as staying focused and avoiding distractions. As Genji left the temple, he felt inspired and determined to apply the monk's words in practice. He began to develop new routines that allowed him to study effectively without sacrificing his health or happiness. He learned to prioritize his tasks, take breaks when needed, and stay focused on his goals. Years passed, and Genji became a successful student and scholar. He never forgot the wise monk's words, and continued to apply them in his life even after graduation. He realized that good study habits were not just about succeeding in school, but also about succeeding in life. In conclusion, the story of Genji and the wise monk reminds us that success in learning and in life is not just about working hard, but also about working smart. To never fail in our studies, we must learn to value our time and use it wisely. Here are some tips to help you become better at studying. 1. Make a list of what needs to be done and prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency. 2. Plan your day and allocate time for studying, resting, and other activities. 3. Turn off your phone and stay away from social media to minimize distractions. 4. Find a quiet place to study. 5. Take short breaks every hour or so to refresh your mind and recharge your energy. 6. Take care of yourself by eating healthy, getting enough sleep, and exercising regularly. Remember, good study habits are not just about working hard, but also about working efficiently by valuing your time and using it wisely. If you enjoyed videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe, like, and share buttons to share it with your friends and family. Thank you for all your support, everyone. May you always be blessed by God, and may you always find luck and happiness.